Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we start please subscribe our channel. Today we will be discussing with you top 10 electric cars in 2023. Number 10, Tesla Model S. With an electric motor dedicated to each of the front and rear axles, the Model S offers full-time all-wheel drive no matter which version you choose. The acceleration of the various models ranges from outstanding to unbelievable. The standard Model S has proven itself an agile sports sedan with well-controlled body motions and direct steering. The Model S's sloped roofline cleverly hides a rear liftgate that opens to reveal a huge 26 cubic foot trunk. We managed to stash eight of our carry-on size cases without folding down the rear seats. Paltry small item cubby stowage throughout the interior especially in the back seat is offset by a large underfloor bin in the rear cargo area. Number 9, Kia EV6. Available with a single electric motor mounted on the rear axle or an electric motor on both axles, the EV6 can be configured with rear or all-wheel drive. While all-wheel drive models have the larger battery pack and either 320 or 577 total horsepower, the base rear drive example has a smaller battery and just 167 horses. Opting for the bigger battery boosts the rear drive EV6 total system output to 225 horses. The EV6 has a flat floor and a wheelbase as long as the three-row, mid-size Kia Telluride, so passenger space is generous. There are also 28 cubic feet of cargo space behind the back seat and 54 cubes total with the rear seat backs folded flat. Number 8, Ford F-150 Lightning. The electric pickup offers ample storage with a 14.1 cubic foot mega power frunk and advanced capabilities like onboard power that can be used to power home essentials, a campsite, or workstation. Ford's electric truck is capable enough for those looking to switch from its gas-powered peers while gaining a massive tech upgrade. All F-150 Lightning models come standard with two electric motors and all-wheel drive. With the standard range battery, the motors combined to make 452 horsepower but with the extended range battery the horsepower rating rises to 580, peak torque is an impressive 775 pound-feet with either setup. Performance is impressive for a truck this heavy. The Lightning Platinum we tested reached 60 miles per hour in a scant 4 seconds and covered a quarter mile in 12.7 seconds at 107 miles per hour. Number 7, Nissan Aria. The Aria's obvious talents will convince more family buyers to make the move to battery-powered motoring. Comfortable and good to drive, the Aria feels a huge step forward for Nissan in terms of quality, engineering, and onboard technology. Its coupe SUV body looks good, while there's plenty of useful practical touches in the cabin to make life that little bit easier. The Aria range starts with a 63 kWh usable battery option coupled with a 215 brake horsepower electric motor that provides a clean 250 miles of range. A larger 87 kWh battery option is also available with a choice of a 239 brake horsepower single motor or 302 brake horsepower dual motor e-force powertrains too, with the latter offering a seriously quick 5.7 second. Number 6, Ford Mustang Mach-E. The Mustang Mach-E is available with either a standard range 70 kWh battery or an extended range 91.0 kWh pack. These feed a single electric motor on the RWD versions of the Select and Premium, or a motor on each axle and AWD variants of all four trims. In the Ultimate GT and GT Performance Edition models that only come with AWD, those motors combine to make 480 horsepower and up to 634 pound-feet of torque. Number 5, Chevrolet Bolt. The Bolt's powertrain carries over unchanged. A 65 kWh battery sends 200 horsepower and 266 lbft to the front wheels. Its 0 to 60 miles per hour time is a relatively quick 6.4 seconds, and a button on the console activates its one-pedal driving mode for drivers who prefer a brake-free experience. All bolts get a 10.2-inch infotainment touchscreen along with an 8.0-inch digital instrument display. The system comes with Wi-Fi capability and wireless compatibility with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The 2LT trim adds a surround view camera and offers a bundle with a Bose audio system, wireless charging, and second-row USB ports. Number 4, BMW iX. The iX is the first of BMW's battery-powered SUVs to be built on a dedicated EV platform. 
There are three versions available. The first is the 332 brake horsepower X-Drive 40 with a 71 kilowatts battery that's good for a range of up to 257 miles, while the other two versions are the 516 brake horsepower X-Drive 50 and the upcoming 611 brake horsepower M60. These more powerful variants up the battery size to 105 kilowatts and will achieve a claimed maximum of 380 and 357 miles respectively. All versions of the BMW 9 feature a four-wheel drive, dual motor setup and, although this contributes to a rather hefty curb weight of over 2,400 kilograms, the 9 handles surprisingly well. Number 3, Tesla Model Y. The Model Y lineup no longer includes a standard range rear-wheel drive cost leader trim. No loss there, the Model Y's long range and performance models are more compelling than a standard range trim anyway and the new base model that's coming has the same dual motor all-wheel drive setup as the other two. The all-wheel drive long range offers 330 miles of range, the performance model's estimated range drops to 303 miles. But the latter comes with 20-inch wheels, a lowered suspension, a higher top speed, 155 miles per hour, quicker claimed acceleration, and a dedicated track mode. The entry-level model comes with a different battery pack than the other two, and its range is lower at 279 miles per charge. Number 2, Hyundai Kona Electric. There's more space on offer along with a whole suite of improvements including a much bolder new look, upgraded onboard technology and higher quality materials. Step inside and the dashboard is now dominated by two 12.3-inch screens that run on brand new software. Hyundai hasn't shied away from physical controls, though, as there are still buttons for systems such as the climate control and radio. Two powertrains are offered with the new Kona, a 48-kilowatt-hour battery paired with a 154-brake horsepower motor or a 65-kilowatt-hour unit with a 215-brake horsepower motor. The larger battery can officially deliver 305 miles of range and a 10 to 80 percent rapid charge takes under 45 minutes. Number 1, Hyundai Ioniq 5. Two battery options are available with three power outputs. The entry 58 kilowatt hour battery is paired with a single 168 brake horsepower motor driving the rear wheels, delivering a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 8.5 seconds and a range of 238 miles. The 214 brake horsepower mid-spec version offers the best range, with a 73 kilowatt hour battery increasing the total distance able to be covered on a single charge to 280 miles. The top spec variant uses the same 73 kilowatt hour battery but adds a second motor at the front giving a combined total of 301 brake horsepower and 605 newton meters of torque overall range falls slightly to 267 miles although performance is much improved with 0 to 62 taking 5.2 seconds they are really amazing thanks for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe